I could have a really long intro where I explain everything that I'm going to say in the video, go over some stuff, or I could just start. Let's go. So I've replaced my pet attack macro, which I place on scroll wheel down with this mouse over version. I use it because it allows me to start fighting an enemy and once it drops to around half health, I can send my pet to attack the next mob without dropping my current target, which gives me time to finish them off. Uh, this gives my pet time to establish threat on a new target so I can transition with no downtime. If my pet does lose aggro on the old mob during that time, usually it's about to die and I can finish it off in the time it takes to run to me, or I can take it down with a raptor strike. If I don't kill it with that, I can simply do the melee ranged duo thingy. Yeah. This chain pulling is what really pushes your leveling speed as a hunter above that of other classes. Okay, I know the mage levels faster, but that's not the point. Not even warlocks can match this pace because their pets don't do as much damage or hold aggro as effectively. The reason a high damage pet is the best choice here is because it actually tanks better than a tank pet would because it generates more threat. A tanky pet with a low damage modifier is not going to be able to hold threat as effectively against multiple mobs. Some pets though, like the owl, do circumvent this problem by having screech, which is a powerful ability, and makes the owl the only tank pet I can really recommend. But truthfully, while the owl is capable of holding threat more effectively, it doesn't deal as much damage while generating that threat like a cat would. So I don't really see the point. Only Alliance Night Elf scum use owls anyways. For the horde. A lot of you guys have been asking for a feed pet macro that uses bag slots. That way you don't have to change the name of the food every time, which I definitely understand. But I've actually come up with a better method. Uh, this macro here will use the food that you place on this exact spot on your bars. Which is much safer than choosing a bag slot as these can change when you run out of food without realizing and you can actually end up using a really important item if it gets looted to that exact spot in your bags. Your action bar is only going to have what you place on it, and you'll always be able to see how much food you have left, so it's pretty convenient. Just drag the food to your bars, and you're ready to go. If you do want to put the food in a different spot, you can use this picture here as a reference. It took me a really long time to find all of these, I hope you appreciate it. Pets in Classic WoW are a little... extra. I found out that if I attack a mob with my pet so I can run by, and then I hit pet passive to bring my pet back to me, my pet will lose all threat, glitch out, and then the mob will attack me instead, even if I never hit it at all. Which is ridiculous, and just ever so slightly, completely bugged. But I also figured out that if you put enough distance between you and your pet, it just despawns. So my current trick for getting past mobs that I don't want to fight is to just have my pet attack while I run away like a little girl. So, if you haven't figured already, you can actually dismiss your pet for free anytime that you want just by telling it to stay and running away from it. It's pretty great because it means you can dismiss your pet without reducing its happiness by 50. I tested this by feeding my pet to the max happiness and then using this method while looking at the combat log. That way I could check to see how much happiness my pet would gain after eating when I call it back out. Thanks for watching the video, guys. My next video is going to be on the infamous One Button Hunter. I apologize in advance. If you'd like to catch that video, make sure you subscribe. And in the meantime, if you'd like to help support me and my insatiable desire to learn everything there is to know about macros, you can support me on Patreon. A big thank you to all of my new patrons. So far, your support has already helped me to get quieter case fans, which has made a big difference because my recordings are a lot easier to work with. No more in the background. Yeah, so thank you for that. I have more videos on the way, so if you have any questions, something you'd like me to test, uh, just let me know in the comments. Later.